What's up guys, Doc Ito here with an Alita update. Remember to like and subscribe for free repairs. Alita Battle Angel is back and could it win the box office this weekend. Exciting news for Alita Army with all hands on deck. Alita Movie is back on Twitter advertising the Alita Battle Angel release this weekend. If you haven't bought tickets, do so. Releasing a new behind the scenes still from the movie and image from the film and advertising the return to Iron City this weekend which we're all excited for. It's exciting to see Alita movie finally back after so much time dormant without helping Alita Army. It's in full force retweeting articles and helping Alita Army get the word out to get more people in the theaters. EMC Theaters and a bunch of other chains are also helping with Marcus Theaters advertising a giveaway for the movie. Rodriguez is of course on board sharing a new poster which is awesome. I love this poster, wish they would have used it on the initial run but still great back in theaters October 30th. Let's go. And of course this was from earlier, Alita and Baby Yoda. This is great. I absolutely love this. Of course, we're excited for The Mandalorian too, but it's all about Alita. And here's Rodriguez retweeting the Alita army. Of course, now we have full support from the higher ups. After a year and a half of work with great work on Twitter, social media, and beyond, Robert Rodriguez himself is retweeting the Alita army account with billboards that have been posted supporting Alita back in cinemas October 30th. And even Gruishka is in the act. Jackie Earl Healy has been retweeting and posting great content on Twitter supporting Alita Army. Awesome new poster, Alita's back, kicking butt in theaters this weekend thanks to Alita Army kicking butt on social media. Congrats guys, you rocked it. XO Gruishka. So all around great work for everyone who's been involved getting Alita to trend and all of the unique ways we have put Alita back in the consciousness. Of course things are tough right now for many people but Alita is a movie that can bring people together and bring levity during a tough time. And of course all these efforts are ultimately in an attempt to get an Alita sequel with the movie finally coming back, a lot of people have an opportunity to see it if they haven't seen it in theaters, which will grow the fan base. And with a good result in theaters, this will be a huge boost for a sequel push. So definitely go if you can. Of course, not everyone is able to if there's health issues and things of that nature, but consider going to the movie or getting tickets in support. And of course, Scott Mendelson put an article up about Alita, the, uh, I guess, frenemy, depending on the day. Scott says, Alita Battle Angel re-release targets blockbuster hungry moviegoers who missed it in 2019. Rodriguez just released a new poster for Alita Battle Angel set to begin tomorrow night. The film is returning to theaters two years after its initial run in early 2019. Now that Disney owns what used to be Fox, the movie is retroactively a Disney film, and Alita is one that people may have missed the first time around. It goes through the money with a $170 million budget and the amount it made during its initial release, getting $405 million overall, and then comparing it to things like Valerian, Mortal Engines, and other movies that did not have a success, with Alita kind of being a moderate success. Alita's $405 million will be likely bigger than wherever Tenet ends up, making Tenet another surprisingly long line of movies that earned less than the Lady Cyborg future punk actioner. I mean, think about that. These movies made less than Alita, Tenet, of course, with an asterisk with everything going on, but Dark Phoenix, Terminator, Dark Fate, Men in Black International, Dumbo, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, Shazam, etc., etc. Alita was a good success financially, and I think that's why the studio is coming around, that's why Alita Army is getting recognized for its efforts, and that's why we're getting more support from them and a re-release here. Credit the film being pretty entertaining and Rose's terrific performance, which allowed Fox to focus on the character. And here's the poster again. And then Scott talks about sequels that follow predecessors with good reviews, leggy movies, and strong post-theatrical life, and argues that maybe Alita wasn't as good reviews, which don't get us started on the reviews again. The theatrical run was a little bit short, with it dropping off after the initial weekend, but definitely a strong afterlife, with Alita Arming being there the whole way. He makes his claim again, which we've seen before, that Avatar needs to make a lot of money for Alita 2 to be approved. Who knows now, especially with everything going on with theaters, if there's more or less of a chance, but I'm hopeful more because of so many people supporting Alita, and it looks like the higher-ups at Disney and 20th Century Fox are now on board. The film is not available on HBO Max and Video On Demand, which makes sense, they're trying to get people in theaters, and then Scott compares it to Wonder Woman. And anyways, this is what I find pretty interesting. This is not a prediction, but I wouldn't be shocked if Alita, by default, tops the weekend box office and becomes the year's biggest Hollywood reissue. That would be amazing. It may need to gross around $2 million to top the weekend box office, 
and will only read 4.4 to pass Hocus Pocus. And they compared that maybe it's possible because Jurassic Park, Empire Strikes Back, Ghostbusters, and so on were fueled by nostalgia, but Alita is a recent release that many people may not have seen. And if people are hungry for a blockbuster that they haven't seen, Alita would be a great movie for them to go out. Two million this weekend is more than I figured. Um, I guess it's possible. It would mean about 20% of the full box office. It's really remarkable how much it's fallen off. Only about $10 million per weekend is what people are spending at the box office. Looking back at earlier in the year, 100 million, 80 million, 60 million, 50 million, and then everything really went down. So this is pretty uh, pretty low. I guess it could get 20% of the box office. Looking at grosses on a typical weekend here on the last weekend, you've got you know only four movies above 1 million. Um, Tenet, which was which is great, I definitely have to go see it again, um, is still hanging in there in the top four. And where will Alita end up? Well, I was thinking somewhere in the a few hundred thousand range, but we will have to see if it gets over a million. I think that's a big success. And here's where the sequel talk finally ends up. I guess if the reissue overperforms this weekend, whatever that would mean, that may be another point in that direction. So they're definitely looking at how the movie does this weekend, if Alita Army can support the movie, and it does relatively well in a safe way that would be going a significant way i think to supporting a sequel so y'all guys so y'all guys so you guys all have a great day stay safe god bless we will talk to you soon we will keep supporting alita and we'll be very interested in watching the box office y'all take care god bless we'll talk to you soon doc out